I was going to start off on white cross, planting two pairs deep into the F2L. His cross pieces are here, 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 and here. And he also notices these two, which can't be paired up, like so. And uh, also his second pair, which is these two. So first, he's going to insert this blue edge. But instead of just doing R2, he pairs up these two first, does a U2 to preserve it in the back, and then solves this um, blue edge. And again, instead of inserting these two straight away, he also notices this pattern of these two being a second pair. And instead of inserting this orange edge straight away, he does R, U prime R. Why is that? Because after he finishes his cross, he can just rotate and now we have a very lucky, uh, very brilliant first two pair solution. Like so, both three pairs into the back. And now, we just have this third pair into the back as well, and a pretty standard fourth pair in front into this full step last layer with a F inverse X C F prime. Uh, sorry, it, yeah, F inverse X C F prime, and then the G prime. That was uh, that has a very high TPS. Cause known for his high TPS, but also the first two pair solutions are well worth learning. Influencing first two pairs with many U moves in cross is a very common technique. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.